Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing? I hope you're doing fantastic. It's Teshua Jogona here on Teshua Jogona Vlogs. Guy, thank you so much for being here. And you know, if you're a new subscriber, if you're new here, please yeah. feel welcome. Yeah, yeah, feel welcome. Get a seat here. We are here to learn. We are here to learn all about UK, UK lifestyle, UK, UK visas eligibility criteria and all those good stuff if you are an existing member as always as you know i do not take you for granted and guys thank you so much for those that come in watch uh teshua jogona vlogs and go ahead to yes teshua jogona okay yeah buddy yes buddy yeah they come they go ahead to subscribe on simply tish thank you so much i do not take you for granted another thing guys i want to tackle uh today is a lot of people have asked questions about what is causing delay there has been a delay people are experiencing delay on their visa decision and i am here to give you a few reasons why that might be happening okay so guys remember most of the videos uh, videos i know <laughs> most uh, most of the visas that are being created now it's because of something that happened and that is brexit that's where we are going to start from so what happened is um uk came out of eu the big brexit yeah the brexit thing uk came from eu so those people in uh, those people that lived and worked in uk and did not deserve uh, did not need any visa or any anything to sh anything in order to live here <laughs> anything in order to live here they um they now needed to go home and some of them needed okay guys what i was saying is um so the people that did not need visas or anything after the brexit and those are the neighboring countries you know like people that used to uh, to, to live here like uh, that would be Ch uh, czech from czech republic polish uh, um, germans all those things so when when uk came out of the U, U, eu then they had to to start applying for settlement so you can imagine and when that happened that's the same time uh, COVID, COVID restrictions started. So you, you can imagine most of the centers were also closed. So there was a delay, delay of so many things. And um, that is one factor. So you can imagine that, that one, Brexit and COVID together. COVID is another uh, different, uh, different reason as well. Because when, uh, when, it start, when it came and there was a restriction, that meant that uh, centers were closed. And um, mostly those countries that were on red list, like Kenya, I remember, then those people could not, uh, their visa could not be processed. So you can imagine those people that they had applied uh, earlier on and the visa pro uh, process could not take place anymore. So those have kind of, you know, it's it's a bit of common sense. Those have a, a priority when it comes to decision making. And also those people that um, had to look for ways to settle, those who applied for settlement in the UK because of Brexit, also remember because it, it it did affect them yeah it did affect them so of also their um their visa need to be considered another major 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 reason why at the moment it's also uh, causing delays uh, for delay uh, for visa applicants in uk uh, for the decisions to be made it's also the uh, the ukrainian scheme remember uh, because of instability in ukraine UK is trying to uh, to process visa okay as much as it can and as as fast as it can for people that are facing that instability so that they can come and you know and settle uh, and settle so that's another factor and this one also if you want to check i think i did a video about it and uh, by then it was um, the delay there was delay of sorry guys it's yeah today i'm holding 
there was a delay of a uh, priority visa and that time i explained priority visa a uh, priority uh, priority visa processing this is when you pay more for your decision to be made to be made faster your paperwork to be checked and your decision to be made faster so you know where you are yeah and and um they did say like the study visas uh, dependent visa that's the sports visa they were going to take they were not they were no longer they were no longer actually processing visa they were no longer processing priority visa the reason being this visa because you've paid for that money then that decision need to be made as up so you can see why and that was because they wanted to focus or put their uh, to focus or put ukraine as their priority that is another reason guys i hope we are understanding each other another reason that can be your paperwork remember there's a backlog because of covid there's a backlog because of so many things there's a uh, and then there's a, a lot of people in Ukraine uh, applying for visa. There's people uh, that had applied for settlement because of Brexit. So all those things, and they require, they require attention. So you come and you do your, you apply your visa, but your visa, some things are missing. Yeah, some things are missing, or they need verification. So if your visa needs verification, that means uh, some information can be sent to the uh, to the necessary uh, if probably if they want to verify about your bank statement they will send it to you they will send uh, information to your bank to check if that is actually what you have and blah 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 so that also might take longer but what i would like to say is make sure that the reason why it, everything is delaying is not your is not your fault let it be all the other reasons that i have mentioned so make sure when you are applying you give them all the paperwork that they need and they require okay they require the right required paperwork and so that the problem is not on you 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 will just stay there remember they even say if you are applying for a visa apply even three months prior you uh, visiting or going to the place you're visiting so a visa can take up to three months anyway I applied a visa. I applied a visa sometime last year, a visit visa for my mom, and actually that visa takes 15 working days. But this time round, it took a month and a few days. So you can see what I mean. There was nothing wrong with it. I thought maybe I had made a mistake. No, I waited, and the decision was made, and she got her visa. It's just that there was delay. So guys, whoever is waiting, may favor follow you. May you get your visa, and I know things will be good. Until next time, guys, please do take care, be safe, and above all, be kind.